Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future, answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. For friendly reminder that these are general readings, they are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone so do please remember to take what does resonate if anything and leave what does not. Last thing is that any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading or coaching session with me is in the description box below. All right Aquarius, let's jump on in. Let's start by looking at what you've been dealing with in your recent past. What has Aquarius been dealing with? This is recent past for Aquarius, please. Emotions are running high. Look at the bigger picture and then surrender to the divine. I don't know what happened. I don't know what took place, but it's obvious that um, there was a strong emotional reaction. Now, whatever that is I think is going to depend on your personal situation, whether it's fear, whether it's, you know, grief. Um, and you're, you're entirely justified in however you feel. But this look at the bigger picture card um, typically represents this need to understand that a lot of times we have a tendency to become very, to jump to conclusions when, it, when things happen in our world. And you know, we look at, at the things that happen and we think that this must mean, you know, X. And, and then we, we create this decisive truth. Like, for instance, this relationship ends, therefore I'm probably going to be alone forever. You know, I lost my job, I'm going to end up on the street homeless, right? We have a tendency to really catastrophize our experience. Now, that doesn't mean that what you're feeling or thinking isn't logical or justified, like I said. But a lot of times you are asked to surrender to a bigger plan, to, to a plan that you might not be able to understand at the time that's very different from what you would expect, but that is ultimately going to be for your highest good. And I think that that is probably the hardest thing about a spiritual journey is trusting that um, you are always being supported to your highest good, even if you're not fully able to understand how especially in those tough moments. Because whatever this is, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't feel the way that you did. I just, I feel like this is kind of this message of hope that, you know, I don't, I feel like this is very much like a not everything is as it seems kind of reading. All right, current energy for Aquarius here. Current energy for Aquarius. Work through your fears. Okay. So we're having to face some fears. Um, what's the other one? What do we got? You and your loved ones are safe. You are safe. You are safe. You know, I think that regardless of, of how things seem right now for you, Aquarius, I feel like you need to know that you are very divinely supported and protected I think a lot of times, and again, this is just, it's, it's the ego's way. You know, a lot of times our ego likes to catastrophize our experience because it, it's looking for some level of control. And when, when things don't go according to your ego's expectations, and this isn't just you, Aquarius, this is anybody, when things don't go according to your ego's expectations, it's really easy to start to believe that the outcome that you desire is never going to happen, that you're never going to be safe, that you're never going to be loved, that you're never going to be happy, that you're never going to have what you need. Um, and that's a natural, normal response to what's happening to you. And I'm again, this is why I don't want to downplay what you've been going through or, or tell you how you should feel because you need to feel however you feel. But there's always a way for us to adopt a different perspective than what our fear wants us to believe. Your fear wants you to believe the world is ending. And a lot of times, you know, it, it can really feel like that, you know, especially when you're going through something really tough or it can really feel like um, things are just never going to get better. Or you're never going to get to where you, you deserve and desire. And a lot of times that fear can really start to take over and it can consume us. And I feel like right now you need to know that you are safe. You are safe. Your loved ones are safe. 
Um, and I feel like despite what it might feel like, because remember your feelings and your thoughts, they're valid, but they're not truth, right? Not everything you think and feel is a truth. You know, we can feel um, lonely or feel like we're going to be alone forever, but that doesn't necessarily make it true. That doesn't make your feeling invalid. Process it, experience it for sure. But you don't have to believe it, right? Um, so I feel like, again, this is another one of those, like, not everything is as it seems right now. The the I feel like there's a lot of projection of your fear and your reality, which is, again, natural and normal, but it's not everything is as it seems. I don't know what that means yet. But I feel like we will maybe get some clarity on that. What does Aquarius need to know moving forward? What does Aquarius need to know about their immediate future? Your dreams need a practical plan. Ooh. Show the world the real you. And a fiery climax approaches. You're going to get to where you're trying to go. But the path that you're taking to get there is going to be different than you expected. So the outcome is still very much possible. But the path in which you're taking is very different. The show the world the real you, um, you know, is, is first of all, it's a full moon and Aquarius card. But also it's about uncovering who you really are underneath all of the fear, the doubt, the insecurity, the second guessing. And we really uncover that when we go through challenging periods. It strips us um, of, if, we're, if we allow it, it strips us of our limiting beliefs if we choose to show up in faith, right? So right now I feel like it's so interesting because it's almost as if the universe is saying, we're getting you to where you asked to be. The outcome is what you desire. It's like happiness guaranteed. You're going to be happy with where you end up. But the path to get there is different than you expected. That's why you have look at the bigger picture. That's why you have you and your loved ones are safe. It just, it feels like you need to know the outcome is there. The out, you're, you're actually being taken to the outcome that you originally asked for. Because you then you have a fiery climax approaches. You have have faith in your dreams. Like, I feel like it's like, and this dreams need a practical plan. I feel like is like the plan in which you had in mind for the realization of some sort of outcome of your dreams. Um, the, that plan that you originally had, how things were going to go, the timeline, all of it. Got to throw that map out the window, right? Because things didn't go according to plan. Doesn't mean they're not working out. Not everything is as it seems. Hmm. Okay, I'm really interested in this in this reading for you, Aquarius, because it feels like a spirit's got some uh, some things that sleeve here for you. Okay, overall theme of the reading for Aquarius. Overall theme of this reading. Overall theme of this reading. Please. No? Okay. Didn't flip, turn all the way around or hit the table, which is what I, I feel like. Easy. Yeah, okay. All right. Shift. Ooh. Shh. Good fortune. A shift in your fortune. A shift in your fortune. Things are going to change. Both of these cards are yellow. 
yellow kind of represents that that solar plexus chakra um really talking about like your confidence and where your power lies and maybe this is kind of some need to do some work some solar plexus chakra work but this is interesting because I feel like I don't know there's some sort of shift in your energy and it that's why you're not need don't believe everything you see right now not everything is as it seems it's almost as if there's this illusion being presented and that illusion, illusion falls away and that's where the shift occurs. There's an illusion right now. It's a, what in the world? Okay, I'm interested. All right. This reading's got me hooked. All right, let's look at this past energy. Past energy for Aquarius. Look at the bigger picture. Emotions are running high. It's like you're on the path to the outcome. You just can't see the path to the outcome. All right, past energy for Aquarius. It also feels like a shift in luck, too. Two of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse. High Priestess, Eight of Wands. Okay, so something happened. And it was a, it was a quick something. And it's interesting because there's this, with the Four of Swords in reverse, there's this energy of burnout. Just like, like I can't believe, like I'm back here, like just being tired of your circumstances. Or being tired of something, being tired of some sort of, some sort of something, whatever it is, some sort of outcome. Um, the two of cups in reverse represents like separation, separation. Oh, it, it almost feels like to you, something happened to pull you further away from sort of some sort of outcome you desired. It's like you were on this path. You were like, finally, I'm on the path. The outcome's going to happen. That didn't happen. So to you you feel as if you've gotten further away from what it is that you desire. The universe is saying, not everything is as it seems. You're actually on the path to it, even if you don't understand how. Now, I do feel like part of this process is feeling and processing through everything that you are feeling right now. Um, you know, I think a lot of times, we forget that we are there. We are, there's so many facets to being human. There's so many facets of us. Um, and we think and we feel and we have a consciousness and we have an awareness. And we, we have to feel. We have to experience. We're here on this earth um, to feel and to experience. But we also are able to hold an awareness of that experience, right? So you might be sad. You can be angry. You can be anxious. And you're going to be all those things because you're a human that feels that. But adopting an awareness of your experience is understanding that, yes, I'm sad. Yes, I'm anxious. Yes, I'm fearful. But my awareness is telling me, but I'm still supported by the universe. But things are still going to work out for my highest good. I might not understand, but things are still happening for me. That's the difference between, you know, cultivating an awareness of your experience and living in the experience. Um, and I think that as you're kind of moving through this, honoring everything that comes up, everything you, you're feeling. But it's so important right now for you to know that you are being faced with an illusion and that illusion is not telling a truth, okay? So if you look at your reality right now and you, you, you see something that says there's no way I'm ever going to have the love that I desire. There's no way I'm ever going to have the success that I desire. There's no way I'm ever going to have what I need. Don't look at your reality and the illusion that it's presented and adopt that as a truth. Allow yourself to say, it might feel like that, it might seem like that, but I believe things are working out even if I don't know how yet. That's the challenge right now. 
because, and, and trust me, I completely understand how, why you're feeling the way you do, but you have this high priestess here. You're being asked to see things from a higher level perspective. You know, I think that it's really easy to get caught up in the experience of what we're going through, but we have to learn to step away from that experience and to be able to kind of observe what's happening without an attachment to it. Um, that's kind of the key, right, is detachment. But it comes at, with practice, it's not something that you, you know, just automatically can just like see things from a higher perspective. But, it, it, you know, the more that you can trust that things are working out, I feel like the easier it's going to be for you to kind of surrender to this process. Overall theme of this, uh, overall theme, current energy for Aquarius, the shift. There's going to be a shift. It's like the illusion melts away. Current energy for Aquarius. Current energy for Aquarius, please. And you still have worked through your fears, right? So you still got to face them. You got to experience them, work through them. But don't believe them. The Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords. Okay, we're going through a lot right now, Aquarius. That's for damn sure. We're going through a lot right now. Um, something, it's, it's like... Yeah, because there's the Fool. So the tower to me, you know, because a tower is anything that is, it's a very emotionally charged experience. A lot of times what the tower can represent is this feeling of like, my life is falling apart or my world is ending or, you know, something really horrible um, is, is happening or is about to happen. It, it's this, it's, it's something that presents this feeling as if nothing is going to be okay. Now the seven of swords to me is this energy that there are things that you are unable to see right now. Now you're in this three of swords energy and I feel like this three of swords energy is, is talking about kind of pain and heartbreak and working through all of that. And that's natural and that's normal and that comes with the experience. But the seven of swords says it all, right? The seven of swords is like, it's, it's like the universe has, it's like the universe has tricks up its sleeve. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The universe has a trick up its sleeve. It's like, it's not, not everything is what you think. And the journey isn't over. The journey isn't over. If you feel like you've reached a destination, you are, you are not, you've not reached a destination. You are still in the middle of a journey. Wherever you're at, don't look at where you're at as final. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Don't look at where you're at as a final outcome. You're not there yet. You're in the middle of the journey. So despite how things look, despite how things feel, not to downplay your feelings, feel everything, right? Feel it all. But don't believe it. Don't believe it. Not everything is as it seems. Oh, this is so interesting. This is interesting, Aquarius. I feel like... I, okay, I don't know. I mean, just I'm gonna just keep going here. Okay, what does Aquarius need to know about their immediate future? I feel like I've said not everything is as it seems like a hundred times in this reading, and I, I get a lot of comments sometimes that are like, "You just repeated so many things." Like, you have to understand that I'm I'm pulling this energy at the same time that you're experiencing it, right? So I don't go into this knowing what the hell is going on. I figure it out as I pull cards. So if I if I'm repeating things a lot of times, it's because I'm also trying to piece together the energy. Um, so bear, bear that in mind. Now, the other thing is that I think that you are the process of working through all of the fear that you're currently experiencing is part of the process of receiving. You know, I've learned that on the path to anything, to an outcome, to success, to love, there's always, we're always going to be met with resistance. We're always going to enter a period where it feels like whatever it is that we desire isn't happening. And that period is the hardest part because that's where a lot of people, if not most people, give up. They give up on the path. They give up on the process. They give up on where they're headed. And I feel like that's why it's so important for you right now to not believe what things look like because right now is not a time to give up. Don't give up on your dreams. 
Don't give up on your desires. Don't give up on what you want. Keep on keep it on. That's the, the key here. All right, what does Aquarius need to know moving forward? And I do feel like you are processing through a lot. Um, and maybe you're, you're getting tired because this, it's just like the same old, same, same outcome, same experience. You just, it's, it's like this energy of, I just cannot believe this is like happening or this has happened or this continues to happen. Something like that. Okay. Immediate future for Aquarius. The Four of Wands, it's like the finish line. The Seven of Cups, but man, there's so much emotion. It's like, okay, you know what? I saw this video, I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but probably because it relates to the message. I saw this girl, she posted a video of her doing, I don't even remember what kind of hike it was. I don't, I don't remember, but it was just this, it was a hike of um, stairs and it took her, I think like an hour and a half to complete this. And at one point in the video, it was just like her video of her doing it and her thought process and how she felt throughout it. And her goal was to like do it. in I think like 40 minutes or something like that obviously ended up taking her a lot longer. Um, but she at one point was like, oh, like that's the end of the staircase. I'm almost there. And then she, you know, the video changes and she's like, I lied. That wasn't the end of the staircase. That is. And she, it's like the top is like so much higher than she thought. And I feel like the reason that this is coming to mind is it's like, you've been through a lot. Like you, you've climbed and you've grown and you've evolved. And I feel like to you, you feel like you're like, I should have reached the top by now. I should be done with this journey. Yes, you have more to go, and yes, that's probably an exhausting thought, but I feel like the biggest thing for you to know is that you are going to get there as long as you keep going. As long as you do not give up on where you're headed, you, I mean, you have the magician, you have the, the oh, look under, underneath that, it's the Ten of Cups, you, have, you do have the Two of Pentacles, which is about, you know, continuing to, it's all about priorities, it's all about continuing to show up. Um, in the best way that you can for whatever you're trying to create. Um, and the Seven of Cups is about understanding that you're on an emotional journey, okay? There's going to be days where you feel good and there's going to be days where you don't feel so good. The worst thing you can do is to turn around and go back down those stairs. You've come, It's like, and I've said this in a, a couple of readings recently, but you've come too far to only come this far. That's what this feels like. Things will change. Things will shift. You probably have a million reasons to not believe me. Um, but I do very much feel as if this is about trusting the process. And I, it's so hard to do, okay? It is so hard to do that. And I, I don't want to say, just, just trust the process. Just have faith because it's, it's difficult. And especially when you've been in a crappy place for a long time, it's hard to believe that you're ever going to come to some sort of like, and or you're ever going to get like it, it feels too good to be true right but we have to watch that because when something starts to feel too good to be true we might give up on trying to create it at all which might actually keep us stuck in the same old same so just keep going keep trusting because i feel like the outcome because again the four of wands it's giving this finish line energy it's like you will reach the finish line you will get to the top you will get to the mountain and understand that the point of all of this, of life, is about the journey. It's not about the destination. And I know that that can get really annoying to hear. It's a cliche for a reason. Um, but it, it, it is. You know, the journey is where we grow. It's where we evolve. It's where we heal. It's where we crack open to the light. It's where we learn what we're made of and how powerful we are and how much the universe has our back. The journey is the point. And, and what you're going through is is tough and it's it's yes it's it's challenging and I don't want to take away from that but it will be worth it that's what this feels like it will be worth it when you reach the top when you reach the finish line and you will reach that finish line you will but I think the hard part is like going back to that example or that how I had that video of that girl popping into my head climbing the, the staircase um is like I feel like it's like you're doing that but it's dark out 
and you can't see anything. So you just keep put, taking, putting one step or one foot in front of the other, taking steps and going, this is never ending. I'm never going to get there. And it's hard. I mean, uh, climbing, think about climbing stairs for an hour and a half. <laughs> that sucks. That sounds like that's miserable. That doesn't sound fun at all. But then she posted all these pictures of how beautiful it was and how she was, she was talking about like, it was an emotional roller coaster and it was actually a really like, like good process for her, even though it sucked. <laughs> um, and I think that that's kind of the reason that popped into my head, I think is because that's a lot like a, a, probably a very overly um, simplified version of your journey, but still, I feel like maybe relatable to the journey that you've been on. But okay, I'm going to hop on over to the extended. This is focusing, this, this reading was what you need to know. The extended is what you need to do right now to move forward in alignment with your higher self. Any information for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Aquarius, as always, for your support of my channel. I do obviously hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing and all of the wonderful things that you deserve and desire on your journey moving forward. Right, bye, Aquarius.